starting in 5 seconds the country really offers immense attraction for domestic as well as foreign tourist there is a large potential to be tapped in tourism the sector holds huge opportunities for jobs and entrepreneurship for youth in particular promotion of tourism will be taken up on mission mode with active participation of states convergence of government programs and public private partnerships fourthly green growth we are implementing many programs for green fuel green energy green farming green mobility green buildings and green equipment and policies for efficient use of energy across various economic sectors these green growth efforts help in reducing carbon intensity of the economy and provides for large scale green job opportunities the budget adopts the following seven priorities they complement each other and act as the saptarishi guiding us through the amrit kal one inclusive development two reaching the last mile three infrastructure and investment four unleashing the potential five green growth six youth power seven financial sector the government's philosophy of sabka saath sabka vikas has facilitated inclusive development covering in specific farmers women youth obcs scheduled caste scheduled tribes divyangjan and economically weaker sections and overall priority for the underprivileged there has also been a sustained focus on jammu and kashmir ladakh and the north east this budget builds on those efforts digital public infrastructure for agriculture will be built as an open source open standard and interoperable public good this will enable inclusive farmer centric solutions through relevant information services for crop planning and health improved access to farm inputs credit and insurance help for crop estimation market intelligence and support for growth of agri tech industry and startups an agriculture accelerator fund will be set up to encourage agri startups by young entrepreneurs in rural areas the fund will aim at bringing innovative and affordable solutions for challenges faced by farmers it will also bring in modern technologies to transform agricultural practices increase productivity and profitability to enhance the productivity of extra long staple cotton we will adopt a cluster based and value chain approach through public private partnerships this will mean collaboration between farmers state and industry for input supplies extension services and market linkages we will launch an atmanirbhar clean plant program to boost availability of disease free quality planting material for high value horticulture crops at an outlay of rupees 2200 crore now india is at the forefront of popularizing mylates we are the largest producer and second largest exporter of shri anna in the world we grow several types of shri anna such as jowar ragi bajra etc these have a number of health benefits 
and have been an integral part of our food for centuries i acknowledge with pride the huge service done by small farmers in contributing to the health of fellow citizens by growing these shri anna now to make india a global hub for shri anna the indian institute of my late research hyderabad will be supported as the center of excellence for sharing best practices research and technologies at the international level the agriculture credit target will be increased to rupees 20 lakh crore with focus on animal husbandry dairy and fisheries for farmers especially small and marginal farmers and other marginalized sections the government is promoting cooperative based economic development model a new ministry of cooperation was formed with a mandate to realize the vision of sahakar se samriddhi to realize this vision the government has already initiated computerization of 63000 primary agricultural credit societies with an investment of rupees 2500 crore in consultation with all stakeholders and states model bylaws for pscs were formulated enabling them to become multi purpose pscs a national cooperative database is being prepared for country wide mapping of cooperative societies with this backdrop we will implement a plan to set up massive decentralized storage capacity this will help farmers store their produce and realize remunerative prices through sale at appropriate times the government will also facilitate setting up of a large number of multi purpose cooperative societies primary fishery societies and dairy cooperative societies in uncovered panchayats and villages in the next 5 years 157 new nursing colleges will be established in co location with the existing 157 medical colleges established since 2014 facilities in select icmr labs will be made available for research by public and private medical college faculty and private sector r and d teams for encouraging collaborative research and innovation a new program to promote research and innovation in pharmaceuticals will be taken up through centers of excellence we shall also encourage industry to invest in research and development in specific priority areas dedicated multidisciplinary courses for medical devices will be supported in existing institutions to ensure availability of skilled manpower for futuristic medical technologies high end manufacturing and research teachers training will be reinvigorated through innovative pedagogy curriculum transaction continuous professional development the district institutes of education and training will be developed as vibrant institutes of excellence for this purpose in future stop